has this guy from tutorial so I got a new laptop yay well not a new one this is my first laptop I've ever gotten but I just wanted to get that out of the way now today we're going to be doing uh, an advanced multi flash in Adobe After Effects CS5 um, if you don't have it um, I can I'll put a link in the description for uh, the trial of Adobe After Effects CS5 or if you have a 32 bit computer I'll leave a link in the description for a trial of Adobe After Effects CS4 or you can just look it up on uh, YouTube or something like that now um, you're gonna need a couple of uh, couple of stock footage for this tutorial, uh, but luckily at the end of this video, I've provided you with some uh, muzzle flashes and shells and smoke puffs so that you can use uh, use all this stuff in your own projects to make your stuff look good. Just if you will, uh, please respond to this video with all the projects you've made. All right, so let's get into editing right now. So first things first, I'm going to take my base footage and drag it into the new composition button. Now this, is, this isn't a tutorial on how to, uh, if you're new to After Effects and how to work it, it's just a tutorial on how to do a multi flash. So if you get lost, just follow my mouse and do what my mouse does, because I'm going to be moving relatively fast. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to uh, take the time indicator right here and move it along just so I can uh, f find where, where, right before where I pretend to shoot my gun, which is called recoil. I'm using the frame by frame buttons to be exact. My gun starts to move back right about now. So I'm going to go back two frames. So right here is perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and import my muzzle flash by going to File and Import. Now wherever you saved your muzzle flashes to, um, it doesn't really matter where they are. Just go ahead and uh, find it and then open it. Um, Alright, so now that I have my muzzle flash, I'm going to put it on top on the top layer of my footage um, now if you do this right here what it's going to do it, it's going to put it at the at the beginning of the uh, of the clip so you're just going to drag it over or you can just set it up so that it's like right there alright so now that you have your muzzle flash imported if there's still black around this muzzle flash you're going to want to go to toggle switches and modes and change it from normal over to screen but we're, we, I don't need to do that because mine is already composited Alright, so I'm just gonna place my muzzle flash. You can click on it and drag it around and stuff like that. If you want to scale it up and, and rotate it, click on this down arrow and then transform. And there's position, scale, rotational opacity, and anchor point. I've never used anchor points, so I don't know what that is. So um, for scale, you can just go like that, scale it up and down. And rotation, just rotate like that. I'm just gonna rotate mine. Now if you want a shortcut for this stuff, just click on right here and hit R for rotation, um, P for position, S for scale, it's just little shortcuts. So I'm just going to scale it up a little bit. Make sure you research your gun before you actually do a muzzle flash. This is an ICS MP5, so I researched. Alright, so now that we have a muzzle flash in position. We're gonna go to the effects and presets um, because this muzzle flash doesn't look too good. And we're gonna type in levels. Take the levels and put it over your on your muzzle flash, and then drag it up to however you like it. It should be generally be uh, pretty white with like a kind of a orange haze around it. Let me do. Okay, so all right. So now that I have the muzzle flash there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer by hitting control D for duplicate and I'm going to go to the effects and presets and type in GAU and a Gaussian blur is going to come up. I'm going to put the Gaussian blur over my, the top uh, layer of my muzzle flash I just duplicated and I'm going to bring the blurriness up to 116 so it gets a nice white haze around the muzzle flash as shown right here. Alright, so now that we have the muzzle flash all set up, you can add a smoke puff to it if you want, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that now, just save a little bit of time. But um, what I'm going to do now is I'm, we're going to be talking about shell ejection. So I'm going to go ahead and at the end of this video, I provided something that looks like kind of like a suppressed um, muzzle flash. It's like a teeny tiny little dot. Um, and that's what we're going to be using for shell ejection, because when a gun is shooting, shells come out. 
and generally uh, a little bit of fire just pushes it out. Should be a little bit of fire. It just makes it look cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it below all my muzzle flash footage. I'm gonna place it wherever I think it's right. R for rotation. Rotate it. Scale it down. All right. So I have that all set up now. All we're missing now is the shell. So, like I said, you have to research your gun and see what kind of shell uh, your gun that you're pretending to shoot shoots, so that lo looks better. Okay. So shells. Mine shoots an eight millimeter shell. I provided all these an eight millimeter, and the other ones at the end of this footage. So don't worry. Now I'm going to put my 8mm under all my muzzle flashes, but not, but I'm still putting on top of my base footage so that you can see it. Okay. Now I'm going to scale down by hitting S. should generally be the size of a little fireball. Alright, so now that I have it all scaled up, we're going to position it so that it kind of like flies off the screen. So we're going to hit P for position, click on the stopwatch, go forward 4 frames or 3 frames, 1, 2, 3, and maybe 4, and drag it so that's all the way down here. Now go back 2 frames and bring it up so it has kind of like a little arc. So now, now this is what it, it, it just looks like a shell with no motion blur or anything, just flying across the, str the screen. Uh, we're gonna add some motion blur to make it look more realistic. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on this button so that all this stuff right here, all these little squares pop up. And click on the motion blur and enable it for the shell so it has some motion blur you can't see it as well but at least you know it's there okay now we're missing one more thing we're, we're missing the way the muzzle flash uh, reacts to the environment around you now I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're in like if you're outside in broad daylight but if you're indoors and there is a little bit of shadow then I would suggest doing this so I am in a little bit of shadow so I'm gonna do that so I'm going to hit control D for duplicating my base layer. I'm just going to shorten it down so it's as long as the muzzle flash of my duplicated layer. Okay. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the blending mode of this to add. So I'm going to go up here to add. And it's going to make the whole entire screen light up so I'm going to shorten this a little bit okay now of course it wouldn't the most flash wouldn't light up the whole entire scene just a little bit of it but um so that's what we're going to do we're going to take the mask tool up here and mask out parts you think would affect you the most so I guess my face So notice that that looks really sharp, so we're going to go ahead and feather it out by hitting that footage that is masked out and hitting F for feather. Now if you want to do this really quickly, like I am, uh, highlight all of your feathers, or all of your masks, and then uh, just for the top one, bring the feathering up and it will feather every single one of these things. What I mean by feather feathering is it's going to make it look a lot smoother as you can see right there so alright so it looks pretty good scrubbing through it it looks pretty good now all we're missing is a sound effect 
No, I've left a link in the description for you for um, Battlefield Bad Company 2 sound effects. Just download it and uh, use whatever gun um, you're using for the sound effect. So I'm going to go ahead and find my sound effects. P5. P5. Alright. Let's go ahead and add your sound effect. And uh, bring the levels up for your sound effect up to about 9. Depends if you're far away or not from the camera. But if you're relatively close, it should be about 9. Let's go ahead and preview it by going by right clicking over here and going to preview and then brand preview or numpad O, which is the zero all the way on the right of your screen, kind of at the bottom, neither neither arrow keys. All right, now there's one thing left to do, and that's to render it out. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that real quick. Um, it's very simple. So first things first, go to composition and go to composition settings, and make sure that your preset is to an HD compositions, and any of these are HD compositions. I usually use the 721. Uh, you guys can use. Uh, 1080 if you want. I, I don't like using that. I just use this. So I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to click. Make sure that the duration, so that say your start time is where you want it to start and end. Mess around with that. And so once you're done, just click OK. Then go to Composition and then hit Add to Render Queue. Now what you're going to do is you're going to change your render settings. Make sure it's on Best and Full. Um, and uh, check your frame rate over here alright so once you're done just click OK it's going to say custom best settings now change your output module f uh, from format obby to quicktime and then format options make sure it's on a photo jpeg and make, make sure the quality is on 100 and if you have any audio uh, in your clip you're going to go to audio output and click that and then just click uh, OK now you're just going to save it to wherever you want. Uh, this is fine for me, so I'm just going to save it there. And once you're done, just start rendering it. And it will render your whole entire composition for you. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, subscribe and comment if you're having any trouble. See you guys later. Song on so many different dials Cause I got more f than a disciplined child So when they see me everybody barack barack Man I'm like a young gun fully black barack I cry teardrops over the massive attack I only make hits like I work with a racket and back Look on my jacket and hat So down to serve, so down to earth I'm bringing gravity back Adopted by the major I want my family back People work hard just to get all this